Thank you for purchasing Bodyguards for the Apple MacBook 13 inch. Before you begin applying, make sure you have all these items on hand. Included in the Bodyguards package are the actual Bodyguards, a diagram, a squeegee, and an application solution. You may also purchase a microfiber cleaning cloth through our site. Before you begin to apply the actual Bodyguards, you'll want to clean your device with the microfiber cleaning cloth. This will remove excess dust and dirt from your device so that you will be able to put on your bodyguards clearly. The next step, you'll want to take your bodyguards and you'll want to lay them out so that you can see all the different pieces. Once you've done this, you're ready to start applying your bodyguards. We're going to start with the easiest piece first, so we're going to start with the click pad. With clean hands, you'll want to pull the bodyguard off the backing and spray it with some solution. Once you've sprayed it and it's fully wet, you want to align it with the click pad. Once it's aligned, you'll want to take your squeegee and squeegee out the bubbles. Once you've squeegeed out all the bubbles, you'll want to take your microfiber cleaning cloth and remove the excess water from your keypad. The next piece you'll want to apply is the touch pad. Again, place the bodyguard on your hand and spray generously with the bodyguard's application solution. You'll want to align your bodyguard into the center of your touch pad. Once it's aligned, again, you'll want to use your squeegee to remove all the bubbles and then take your microfiber cleaning cloth to remove all the excess water. going to apply is the wrist guard. You'll need to spray more application solution on this piece than you would on the touch pad or the click pad. Once you feel that it's fully saturated, you can place it on your device. You should be able to slide and move this around freely once you've laid it down. You can lift up the protector and reapply as many times as you need to make sure that you get it aligned properly. Once you have it positioned where you want it, use your squeegee to remove the excess bubbles. You may have to lift the protector and squeegee out any stubborn bubbles. Again, you should use your microfiber cleaning cloth to remove any excess water. We're now ready to begin applying the bodyguards to the outside of your device. The first piece you'll want to grab is the battery piece for the bottom of your MacBook. You'll want to begin by applying a generous amount of the application solution onto the adhesive side of the bodyguard. Once you have applied your solution, you want to align it with the battery piece. You'll notice that the plastic casing causes the bodyguard to adhere faster than on the interior pieces. You'll probably need to reposition your bodyguard a couple of times to get it in the place that you want. Be patient with it, it will take some time but you'll get it. Once you have your bodyguard in place, you'll want to lift up and take your squeegee and gently squeeze out the bubbles as you lay your bodyguard back down. 
After you've squeezed out most of your bubbles, you'll want to take your microfiber cleaning cloth and go around the ends and get all the excess water. The next piece you're going to apply is the full back of the MacBook. This is the most complicated piece, so you'll want to be careful when you take it off not to have the ends stick to each other. Again, you'll want to take your bodyguards application solution and spray generously on the back side of the bodyguards. You'll want to make sure you get every piece. Once you feel that your bodyguard is well coated with the solution, you'll then begin to apply it. You'll notice on the back of your MacBook that there are three screws that make a V. You'll want to align your bodyguard's protector with those three screws. If they are aligned properly, the rest of your bodyguard will lay out perfectly. Once the three screw points are allowed, you'll be able to finish laying out the rest of your bodyguard and aligning it to your device. You'll have to pull up lots of corners and reapply application solution so that it will stick better and you'll receive less bubbles. Using the same strategy as we did on the battery, you will lay it out, but as you are laying it down, you will squeegee out the rest of the air bubble. Now we're ready to move on to the last and final piece. This will be the top of your MacBook. You should have a little bit of a feel of how to apply these now that you feel confident when you apply this last piece. You'll want to spray it with a generous amount of application solution just like you did on the other ones. Once you feel you have an adequate amount of solution on your bodyguard, you're ready to apply it. On this piece, you'll want to align the apple. Because of the size of this piece, it will take you a couple of tries to get the apple exactly in place. Once you feel that you have the apple lined up, you'll want to pull back on the bodyguard to straighten out. To straighten it. You'll want to keep applying application solution through this process to keep your bodyguard slick so that it will not stick as easily. Once you've finished laying out the top protector, you'll then want to move on to the corners. You'll want to squeegee out the air and press it out as you roll them down so that no air is trapped there. While we're finishing up applying this bodyguard, there's a couple more things that you need to know. You'll probably recognize that there are a few bubbles in the covers. Most of these bubbles will work themselves out in about a week. Once the protector begins to dry, you'll be able to press these out with your cleaning cloth or a squeegee.
The last step is to work with the corners. Once you have found where you would like them to go, hold them in place for 30 seconds until they adhere by themselves. Once you finish the bodyguards process, allow your computer 24 hours to sit before using it.